question. I always used to think about what is the difference between achievement and success. Somebody put it in a nutshell, very nice words. Achievement is the knowledge that I have prepared well. I have done my hard work and given my best shot. And success is being praised by others, which feels nice too, it feels great. But it is not as important or as satisfying as achievement. So let's forget about success. Aim the achievements. Success will run towards you in long term. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Shivani Sen. I'm a mother to a 12-year-old and I'm master of ceremonies in the Indian live events industry for 14 years. Wow. Uh, born and brought up in a middle class Kashmiri family in Delhi and I studied in a Hindi medium government school which had bare minimum facilities and like any other middle class family we had our own share of struggles. Uh, both my parents uh, and my brother we all learned to do our chores and both of them were working at a very early age and uh, we learned to do our chores, our, uh, our household chores and books became my friends uh, I was a very shy kid. Newspapers, encyclopedia, magazines, even the car lady, calendar if you've heard of, I just got my hands on anything that I could get my hands on. Watching my mom, dad and thereafter my brother work, I thought what will I do with my life and my future and nobody had asked me that question from me. Because, you know, it was a pretty old mindset where uh, son's career is important, uh, which was discussed, whereas daughter will study, but eventually, you know, she has to go and get married. And it didn't bother me much. In fact, I took it as a challenge to take control of my own life, make my own decisions, make my own mistakes, learn from them and grow. But, you know, my mom was different. Moms are always wiser. She wanted uh, me to work and I think she was the only person who had asked me what I wanted to become when I grew up. And recently to my surprise and a little bit of an embarrassment also, she told me that my first career choice was to become a nun. I was inspired by Mother Teresa so uh, thereafter, you know, obviously change to being a nurse or teacher or a painter or a dancer. But see, my mother was actually more encouraging, you know, to work towards a career and be independent, make my own destiny. So while doing my graduation as I grew up, and I did graduation through correspondence. I also did odd jobs and studied to become a website designer. Don't worry, I have not designed a single website till date. Recession made sure of that. But you know, there was a kid in me that did not let me stay at home. I just wouldn't. So after college and during the recession uh, is when I had my first experience of working in an MNC. Now it was a technical support process of a major US computer brand, commonly known as BPOs or call centers. For the first time I realized I was part of a herd, a big crowd and there were thousands of people like me in this company. How do I make my mark amongst all of them? What do I do? How do I add value? I could have taken the same paycheck home every month and by doing what was expected of me, the basic thing, but I had that gear. What I did was, firstly I stopped being that reserved and shy self. I started hanging out with the senior management of that company, I would listen to them discuss about the industries and the company's current affairs. And very shortly, I learned that this company I'm working for, like many others in BPO sector, was going through a very high attrition rate because of which it had a direct impact on the company's numbers. The experienced employees would, the trained and experienced employees would leave for better prospects. And the newer joinees, they were slow in the beginning as they had to research the database to provide solutions to the customers and that brought the average of the entire process down. It was a never ending cycle. It was like a vicious circle repeating. This project I took upon myself without anyone telling me to. Numerous hours spending on research, databases, meetings with the trainers, editing, I would 
come to office first and I would leave the office in the end. Now, after weeks and weeks of back breaking, hard work, and uh, sometimes working in the week offs also, nobody had asked me to, but I still went there. I presented a solution to the management. In the meeting, I told them 80% of the calls that we are receiving are of the common problems. They are easy to solve, but the employees are taking a little long searching the database. The new employees, because they could not search the database fast enough, I presented to them a 360 page spiral bound book, which included 80% of these issues with their solutions in simple language and diagrams, well indexed. Copies were given to the new joinees to test and right from day one, despite of the same high attrition rate, the numbers of the company improved. That year, I was one of the handful of the employees and thousands who received the highest employee rating and then the entire senior management knew who I was. What did I get? Job satisfaction, achievement. Now, some just some years back, I think two or three years back, someone uh, called me and uh, told me that this book is still being used in that technical process and it has my name written on every page. But nobody knows who Shivani is. Well, after marriage and a kid, I moved on from the BPOs and from Delhi to Hyderabad. I always wanted a balanced life and while I was on the lookout for a change of career, I suddenly found myself modeling and anchoring. Modeling did not excite me much, but MCing was altogether a different ball game. It was challenging and it brought more knowledge as I hosted for companies from various industries. Initially, I thought it's a very easy job. Just dress up, look pretty, announce and you have your paycheck in your hand. Sounds good, right? Now, that really was the expectation from uh, the event manager from the MCs. Well, but that Kida needed to be feeded. You know, it needed to be fed and I wanted to add value. Moreover, the check that I was getting, it was the monthly income for many households that I knew. I couldn't take my work for granted. Now, if some of you are wondering uh, how I managed my career along with my family, my kid, then I must tell you I never lost focus there also. I used to reduce my work during uh, exams, birthdays, holidays, festivals, etc. As a parent, my child was and still will remain my priority forever. Now, years later, as my kid, kid grew, so grew the events industry and the expectations from the NC. Now, here comes the difficult part. Female NC is expected to be a perfect woman. She's presentable, she's witty, she's articulate, she's eloquent, she's stylish, she's well read, she's powerful. She knows her current affairs as much as she knows her poetry. She's charming, she's professional, she's sweet, she's energetic, she is everything. But being her was not easy. Now the question was, how do I make my mark here? Now, sometime back, I had the honor of interviewing now Padmashri Sunil Chetri, captain of Indian football team. I asked him, Sunil, what does it take to be a winner year after year after year? He replied, it's a very easy answer, but extremely difficult to follow. Discipline. Follow your routine. People who follow their routine consistently without fail emerge as winners in the long run. I don't mean uh, consistent in Netflix and chill though. It's up to you. So, you know, on the outside, NC always seemed like a very glamorous and easy job, but to grow and to become a brand, it requires disciplined lifestyle, being prepared and presence of mind. Now here, I would like to tell you a small story. Uh, one of the wedding planners, uh, he had blocked my dates uh, for a few events and uh, pre-wedding uh, events and one of the events one night prior I came to know was not a pre-wedding event. It was actually 
a birth announcement and the client was the family that owns a major FMCG brand in India. I had never hosted for a birthday or even a birth announcement. I didn't know what to say. The event manager once again had simple expectations but that you know what do I do? What should I do? What should I say on this occasion? I kept adding ideas on my phone's notepad. And on the flight, I wrote a sweet monologue for my Hindi speaking family audience event. Now, for the effect, I asked my event team to give me a spotlight and have very light piano music play in the background. So, please imagine the scene as I'm going to uh, recite what I wrote. अगर बच्चे ना होते तो कैसा होता अगर हम यू ही बड़े पैदा होते किसकी बातों पर दादाजी हंसते किसको चुपके से एक और लड्डू देकर दादी कहती मम्मी को मत कहना किसकी आंखों में मोटे मोटे आंसू देखकर माँ का दिल बिखरता पापा को घोड़ा कौन बनाता और कौन खींचता नानी की मूछ किसके पहले शब्द पर लगती शर्तें पहले मम्मी कहेगा पहले पापा जी कहेगा और दादू कहते हाँ पहले तो दादू ही कहेगा जिसके चलने का रहता पूरे परिवार को इंतजार और जिसके चलने पर उफ जैसे आ जाता पूरे घर में भूचाल बस ऐसी ही खुशियों का इंतजार है इस परिवार को एंड वेलकम Here I saw my audience members stopped on the way and they were smiling. Some of them were recording the monologue and even my event team was watching and smiling. What did I get? Job satisfaction, achievement. I kept feeding my Kira year after year, event after event. And after 14 years of working as a professional host without any expectation, that shy Hindi medium government school student while battling for depression for two years got awarded as the best MC female bronze as a national platform. Spotlight India. Thank you. 2018. And 2018, I also got elected as the president for Telangana's Entertainers Association. In August 2018, we started an initiative called Rangmanch. It is for all the artists who work in the live events industry. TA Rangmanch organizes workshops, training, panel discussions, and more to help the local artists grow. And I'm immensely grateful to the entire Indian events industry for all the support that they have shown towards Rangmanch. After all, the artists, there is no school for them. Tomorrow I know whatever I do, whether I'm an MC or a nun, or website designer, I will never be an average because that Kira will not let me sit. There will always be distractions. Don't lose that focus. There are no shortcuts to success whatsoever. And most importantly, feed that Kira in you because it is going to feed you back. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Shivani Sen and I'm very honored to be part of this occasion. Thank you so much. Woo!